Hey everybody, welcome to another 007 Systems instructional video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ecolink Z-Wave door and window sensor. This thing's pretty cool, it's got some good features, so let's get into what's in the box. You got some printed instructions, the door sensor itself and the magnet in white and a brown kit in case you have brown trim. And to further break down, shows a white sensor and magnet, a brown cover, magnet and spacer kit, and the mounting bracket, screws, and double stick tape. All right, so let's get into the guts of this thing. It does have, on the circuit board, a double wire mounting terminal strip, and that's for an external switch. The battery is removable and does come with the unit. It is a CR123A photo battery, and we do sell those on our website. So if we take the battery out of the mount there, you're gonna see what it looks like to be a screw mount. These screw mounts are for the plastic mount that comes with the sensor, so do not use metal in these holes. They will damage the circuit board that's on the other side of these holes. Now if you grab the, uh, the bracket that comes with it, you'll notice that it does have holes on it for a screw application or the double sticky tape for a metal application. Once you mount that mount, you slide the sensor on the mount and you are ready to go. So let's get into pairing this bad boy with our controller. Today we're using a very light for our controller. And right now you'll notice the controller is in the inclusion mode. With the orange light blinking slowly, it is in inclusion mode to include the device into it. So what we're gonna do is exclude it first as usual and then we're gonna include it. So what we need to do is hit the minus button to put it in the exclusion mode. So once you push that button there, it's the minus button, you'll see the yellow light blink quite quickly. Now we're going to power up the unit by taking that little tab out, and that's going to apply power in the battery. You notice that orange light blinking profusely, and that means it is excluded from the unit. So now we're going to put the unit in inclusion mode, which will make the orange light blink slowly. And now we're going to take the battery out and apply power again, and it will include it. You'll notice as soon as I put that battery back in, it's going to blink quickly there and that means the data process or the data transfer has taken place and now the unit is included and you're ready to go. So now the unit uh, has been included and uh, we're going to go ahead and snap the cover on. The light is on solid and once you snap that cover on it could take up to a minute for that light to actually turn off. So give it a little bit of time to do what it's got to do and then once it does you are ready to go. You'll notice that the light blinks with the magnet coming close to it and removed from it. That is it sending its signal out to the controller telling it its status change. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about orientation and the magnet placement to the sensor. You notice the side of the sensor here, there is an up arrow and a center mark on the side of the sensor. The magnet does need to go in between that middle mark and the top of the sensor to work correctly. Now, if you're going to be mounting this on a door or a window, you want to make sure that the, uh, the magnet and the, the sensor do line up correctly. So if you're mounting on a door, you want to make sure the sensor is always mounted on the jam and the magnet is on the door. So with that in mind, keep the, uh, make sure the uh, magnet can swing back and forth and still get close to the sensor in that orientation. If you're going to be mounting it on the left side of the door, the sensor will be on the jam and the magnet will be on the door and this is how you're going to mount it so that it'll trip it when the door is closed and open. Now we're going to see what this thing does hooked up to the controller. Now this is our new module here fresh out of the box it does say motion sensor it does look like a motion sensor but it is a door and window sensor. So keep your eye on that little red dot there and this will give you an idea of how far away the magnet does work with the sensor. Make sure, again, it is in that center upper area of the sensor, and you'll see it turn green as soon as the sensor sends a signal to the controller. Keep in mind the controller is about 150 feet away uh, from where we're doing the uh, study here. So that's about half an inch to an inch gap there that the uh, magnet and the sensor do work together before they trip. So now I'm going to take an external switch and hook it up to those two terminals that I showed you earlier. 
This is a uh, normally closed press fit switch and I'm going to wire it up to those two terminals there. Now you can see the hole here where you can bring the wire in if you do need to mount external switches somewhere next to a window or a door. So I'm going to go ahead and wire this switch, this reed switch, magnetic reed switch up to these two external wire connectors and I'm going to show you uh, how it works in conjunction with the switch. So once I get that all wired up, I go ahead and you need to put the cover on for this thing to work. So that's why I went ahead and took the trouble and put the wires through the actual holes on the mounting bracket. So once it's all closed, it, I can show you how the switch actually works. Now it works just like it did with the magnet. You can see it go green when it's closed and red when the magnet's removed. But also, you could uh, wire up as many switches as you want to one of these. So technically you could wire in all of your doors and windows in series to one sensor and that's all you would need. Of course you wouldn't have any determination as, as to what door or window was triggering it. So here I'm, I'm holding the magnet to the press fit switch and you can see the same thing. It sends a signal out on open and close. So let's go ahead and mount this bad boy now. You'll notice I got the middle bracket there and the up arrow, so that's where the magnet's going to be. So then I have double sticky tape on the on the actual slide bracket. And I'm going to go ahead and mount this bracket onto the frame of the door. You want to make sure the magnet will line up with the uh, middle line and where the arrow is. So go ahead and press that to the jam. Now you notice on this door is a kind of a, a little up metal piece there and you can't really mount the magnet in between those two so you want to make sure the magnet goes on the one side or the other so now I have the uh, support bracket for the magnet you have double sticky tape on that and then I'm going to mount the magnet to the kind of the spacer there and then I'm going to take this magnet and stick it right to the door make sure you kind of move it away from the, the jam a little bit so it's not going to rub when you slide the door open and closed and you want to make sure the door and the magnet do not hit anything in the entire sliding process so it doesn't hit anything and all the way open and all the way closed and just test it make sure it works you can see the light blink when it the magnets moved away and moved forward to it and you are done hope you enjoyed the video